Welcome to Latricia Creates. I am Latricia. In today's video, we're going to sublimate some luggage tags. Let's take a look at the materials for this project. For this project, I'm going to be using a faux leather luggage tag that came with its own strap. I also have an acrylic blank that I cut out on my Glowforge, and I'm going to be using this wire strap to go with it. I have a coffee filter to wipe them down with, a pair of scissors, a ruler, some sublimation paper. I also have a sublimation printer with sublimation ink inside of it. I have some parchment paper, some heat tape, heat gloves, a pressing pillow. We also need a heat source, something heavy to hold the acrylic down with after it comes out of the heat press, and we need a design. You ready? Let's make it. The first thing I want to do is measure the luggage tag. It's about 2.75 inches in width and 4 inches in height. The acrylic tag is 3.25 inches. So now we're ready to head over to the software to create our designs. I'm going to be using Silhouette Studio. I'm here in the canvas and I've already uploaded all of the images that I'm going to use for both of the designs. Before I start the design, I want to show you how I made the scallop image that I cut the acrylic out with. What I did was I went over to the left hand side to where the star is. I went down to this flower, I clicked on the flower, I made the flower, then I went to this here and I went across the line to make the number of petals that I wanted. Then I went to this red dot here and I moved it so that the petals wouldn't be so big. Then I grabbed a circle, I made the circle a quarter of an inch so that the cable will fit through the hole. And that was it. Now I'm going to delete this because I don't need it. I just wanted to show you how I made that. I'm keeping it here for reference. Now I'm going to work on the design. I'm going to take this piece and put it inside the scallop. The scallop is 3.25 inches, so I need this to be smaller. I'm going to zoom in on the canvas here that looks pretty good but I want it to be just a tad bit bigger so I think I'm just going to change it to be 2.75 now I'm going to grab both of them and center them Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to grab the L and bring the L into the center. Reduce the size of it. I'm going to grab both of these pieces and center those. That looks great. Now I don't need this scallop anymore, so I'm going to get that out of the way. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Now what I want to do is change the colors. I want the L to be purple, so I'm going to click on the L. Then I'm going to go over to the fill panel, which is the little paint palette, and change it to purple. I'm going to use this purple here. I also want the hearts to be purple, so I'm going to ungroup these two pieces. I'm going to change the hearts to purple, the same color purple. And I'm going to change the ring to gray. That looks great. Now I'm going to group them all together. So I'm just going to grab all of the pieces and I'm going to go up here and group them. Now I'm ready to work on the luggage tag. This is the scallop bag tag. I'm going to close this fill panel. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to the left. I'm going to go here to this shape panel. And I'm going to grab this rounded rectangle. I'm going to make the rounded rectangle 4.125 in height. 
and 2.875 in width. So I'm going to unlock it. Now I'm going to lock the dimensions back. Now this is good to go. What I want to do with this is I want to fill it. So I'm going to go back to the fill panel. This time I'm going to fill it with a pattern. So I'm going to go to this third one here, which is the fill pattern. Click on that. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom where I have my fill. And I'm going to click on the pattern that I want to use. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the luggage, drag it onto the rectangle. Since it's in the back, I need to move it to the front. So I'm going to go up here to this piece right here and click on that, which is going to bring it to the front. Now what I want to do is change the color of the luggage. I want it to be a lavender color. So I'm going to click on one of these lavender colors to see if I like any of these. And I don't think I like any of these, so I'm going to go over here and start clicking around until I find a color that I like. I don't really like any of these colors, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to grab the dropper, and I'm going to pick one of the colors in here. I think I like that one. Now what I want to do is I want to bring that white outline back, so I need to ungroup this. I'm going to go up here and ungroup it. And I'm going to grab the outline, hopefully. Hopefully that's it. Let's see. Yes. All right. I think that looks pretty good. Now I want to center them. So I'm going to take both pieces and I'm going to click on center. Now that that's centered, the last thing I want to do is I want to grab some text. So I'm going to go over here, click on the text, and I'm going to type out my text. Now I'm going to highlight my text. I want to put the same pattern in there, so I'm going to go back to the field and grab the pattern. And I also want to use a different font. So I'm going to go to the text style over here on the right, click on that, and find a different font. The font that I want to use, I think it's called Garlic Shrimp. So let me type that in. Yes. Now what I want to do is I want to ungroup it because I need to reduce the spacing. And I want it to be centered. So I'm going to ungroup it and I'm going to group it just by each word. I'm going to move it up just to where I want it. I think that's pretty good, and I'm going to grab both of them, and I'm going to center them. Oops, wrong center. Click undo. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to center them. All right. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to group both of them together. Move them over here onto the bag. Reduce the size. I think I'm going to ungroup them again. This time I'm going to just reduce the size of the word bag. I'm 
I'm going to center them again, make sure they're right. Yep, that looks good. And I think they're good to go. Let me increase the size of this, take another look. I think I like that. I'm I'm toying with the idea of putting a white offset around there. Let me let me put a small white offset to see if I like that. So I'm going to go over here to the right hand side. I'm going to go down here to the offset panel, which is this star with the off with the outline around it. I'm going to click on offset. I'm going to reduce the offset. I think 20 is good. That's good. Now I'm going to fill it with white. And let's see how I like that. Mm, let me take this stroke off of here. I think I like that. Yeah, I think I like that. So I think this is good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all of them and group them together and close out on this. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I am going to change the paper size because my paper is three and a half by nine. So I want to change it here. I'm going to go here to where it says media size. I'm going to go to custom. And I'm going to change the width to 3.5. And I'm going to change the height to 9. And I'm going to put these on the paper. Let me zoom out. I need to make sure these red cut lines are turned off. Okay, there we go. And I need to make sure the red cut line is turned off on this one. It's good to go. Now I'm ready to print. I'm going to go over here to File, Print. As you see here, it doesn't have the right paper size. I'm going to go over here to print. I'm going to use my Workforce 7620 series. I'm going into preferences to change the preferences. I'm changing the document size to user defined, and it's going to be 3.5 by 9. Now I'm going to go over here to more options. Well, I'm going to change my paper type. I generally use plain paper, bright white settings, but my printer has been acting up, so I am going to change it to premium presentation matte to drop more ink, and hopefully I won't have any issues. Now I'm going to go over to more options. I'm going to turn high speed off. I'm going to turn mirror image on. I'm going to go to custom here and I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to go to ICM. Click OK. Now it should be ready to go. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click Apply. And I'm going to go ahead and click Print. Once it's done printing, I'm going to head back over to the craft table to get it all prepared for pressing. I got the design all printed, but there are some banding in here. So what I did was I reprinted it using my other sublimation printer. The other sublimation printer doesn't take 
the paper size that I have here, which is the reason why I didn't use it in the first place because I like using the smaller paper for smaller designs. But I went ahead and reprinted it using eight and a half by 11 paper. And I decided to cut a second one of these so that I can have this design on the front and back. So now I'm ready to cut the designs, place them on the blanks. Then we'll head over to the heat press and press them. You could also use an easy press. I started to just bring the easy press out, but I'm going to use the HTV Ront heat press and it doesn't take very long to heat up. My camera decided it wanted to shut off, so you missed when I took the paper off of these and I was just dry wiping them with the coffee filter. Now I want to take them and align them. Hopefully I can line this up pretty good. One of the things I did not take into consideration is the little slit here. So my handle is probably going to be cut off. You see there where the handle is going to be cut off, but it's okay. We're still going to roll with it. Now I'm ready to head over to the heat press. I'm going to press the acrylic tag first at 380 degrees for 45 seconds. It's all done. Now I'm going to move the acrylic tag to my cold heat press to cool it off and flatten it. While we're waiting for the acrylic blank to cool off, I'm going to press the faux leather luggage tag using the same time and temperature. This one is ready. Let's see how it came out. That looks great. I am very pleased with the outcome of this one. It's very vibrant. And beautiful and I'm really digging it now the other one should be cooled off so let's see how it came out this one did not come out well at all it sublimated a teeny tiny bit but as you can see, it looks really bad. I think what happened was I didn't have enough time. So I'm going to repress it. This time I'm going to use 60 seconds. It's all done. Let's see how it came out this time. It's a little too pliable, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and put it back under the heat press, let it cool down, and flatten out. Then I'll be back. It's nice and cool now. Let's see what it looks like. It actually worked this time, so 60 seconds was the correct time to use. The issue that I have here is that I didn't line it up correctly. So it's a little bit of ghosting going on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to sublimate the back to see how that works. 
I was going to sublimate the back, but then I saw the imprints from the tape marks. I don't know if you can see those, but I don't like them. So I'm just going to redo it. I will meet you at the craft table to show you how it turned out in the end. I recut and sublimated the scallop tag. It came out really nice. The only thing I wish I had done differently is I wish I had not put the initial on both sides because it's not as opaque as I would like it to be. So if I had to put a solid background on one side, I think I would have liked that better. But it's still cute and I'm satisfied with it. Now I'm going to put this wire cable on here. Just stick it through the hole and it screws in. And now it's a cute little bag tag. For the luggage tag, I really, I really love this one. I love how vibrant these colors are. I don't know if I showed you the back, but the back looks like this. It has a little tag inside. I'm going to take that out. I'm not going to use it. Now I'm going to put this in here. Stick that in the top and then through the bottom. And I like having the holes on the inside because I think it's less likely to get lost when it's on the inside as opposed to the outside. Then we have this cute little bag tag, cute little luggage tag. So cute. Here's a closer look at the final projects. They came out really nice. This one here is my favorite. I like this one as well, but I did have a couple of hiccups with this one. I had to redo it for one thing. Reason being is because I didn't use the correct time. I used 45 seconds and it actually needed 60 seconds. Also, the tape imprinted on the back of the acrylic and I didn't like that. So I went ahead and redid it. When I did it the second time, I didn't use any tape and it worked out well in the end. So I hope you are able to make some as well. And I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep creating.